All right. Um, hopefully you were able to try the uh, uh, video reference and follow the examples A, B, C, and D, and then you were able to do the U tries one, two, three, and four. So I figured um, I would record a video so you could make sure you uh, did the right um, methods and you got the right answers. So here's number one on page five for the U try. So um, again, plug in everything you know. So the volume is three hundred and twenty-five. <clears throat> We know pi is 3.14, and we know that the radius, of course, is going to be, in this case, uh, times 12 squared. And we're trying to find uh, the height, so we're going to leave that a variable. Okay, so um, now we're going to get, we can do 12 squared, so 325 equals 3.14 times 144 times the height, you multiply those two things, you get 3.14 times 144 is 452.16 height. And now to solve for height, just like a normal one step equation, you're gonna divide each side by 452.16. So your answer you should have got for that one, three, two, five, divided by four, five, two point one six. Yikes. Um, that uh, there's a small height, hopefully that's right. So I got uh, zero point seven two inches. Uh, so maybe that's just um, Probably that volume should have been bigger for that one, but if I do it backwards, it should work. So if I do, um, if I do the formula and I put 0.72 in for the height, it should work. So uh, just to prove it to you, 3.14 times 12 times 12 times what was it again? 0.72. Yeah, that's a 325. So that was just a bad um, problem. But again, the correct answer is uh, almost three quarters, just about three quarters of an inch for that one. Uh, number two, hopefully uh, the numbers of this one look a little bit better. So here we're finding radius. So remember, when you find radius, you're going to have to square root at the end. So I'm going to put in the numbers I know 425 for my volume, uh, 3.14 for my uh, pi. Radius squared, I don't know. And then my height here is 15. All right, so I can do 3.14 times 15 to get 425 equals 47.1. Then the radius squared, divide each side by the 47. Point one. So 425 divided by 47.1 is, oh, cool. It's like nine, really. Uh, so you end up getting uh, 425. I'm sorry, let me write that out a little bit better. Divide each side by 47.1, 47.1. I get R squared, double check that one more time. 425 divided by 47.1. Yeah, so it's about 9, because it comes out to 9.02. So then you do the square root on both sides to solve for r. You get the radius is equal to 3 yards for that one. So that one came out much nicer than uh, you try number 1. All right, so let's look at how you did with um, the cones. All right, here it goes. So uh, again, this one, because it has to divide by 3, you're going to clear that fraction first by multiplying each side by 3. So let's put in what we know. Volume is 500. Then we got pi is 3.14. The radius here is 8 squared times the height all divided by 3. Going to clear that 3, multiply both sides by 3. You're left with 1,500 over here. And then uh, 3.14 
8 squared times the height. Okay, so 8 squared is 64. So when I do 3.14 times 64 in my calculator, I get 200.96 times H, or just H. So now I got to divide each side by 200.96. And so I'm going to get 1,500 divided by 200.96. I'm going to get about, uh, to the nearest tenth, the height would be 7.5 uh, millimeters, it looks like, for this one. All right, and last but not least is number four. Um, so this one, you're going to have to do two tricky things. You're going to multiply both sides by three to start. And at the end, when you find the radius, you're going to have to square root. So here it goes. So uh, plug in my volume. And that is 265. 3.14. My radius, I don't know anymore. Times my height of 15, all divided by 3. All right, going to clear that fraction. Multiply this side by 3. Multiply this side by 3. And multiply 2. 65 divided by, um, multiplied by 3, excuse me is 795, uh, then I'm left with 3.14, radius squared times 15. I can multiply 3.14 times 15, and I get 795 equals 47.1 radius squared. So hopefully at this point you divide each side by 47.1. And I'm left with 795, sorry, 795 divided by 47.1, and I get 16.9 um, equals radius squared. So now I get to square root both sides. So in my calculator, I'm going to do 16.9 square root. I get the radius here is equal to about 4.1 yards. Okay, so um, hopefully that helps you get started. Um, again, this one is probably the more difficult because you have to um, multiply both sides by 3, and then at the end you have to square root uh, to find uh, the radius. So hopefully that helps, and you're able to try uh, numbers 1 through 10 uh, for the practice today. Have a great afternoon and a great day.